Welcome back to Lazy Edit. I think for the last year, we've used a mouse and keyboard as well as VR, even experimenting with things like Kinect and video recognition to create motion capture, to create procedural animations. And it's made me realize that with different approaches comes different trade-offs. With procedural animation, you get faster production at the cost of polish. Today though, we're gonna move back to frame by frame animation since it allows me to have a lot more customizability. First, I needed to redesign the rig for the new workflow. A rig is kind of like a skeleton that controls your character, and previously I had a few bones, all of which were controlled through code. This time around, I wanted to have a more elegant control over the character. And that means making some adjustments to my old rig. Rigs by themselves though can look a little bit strange if they're just left alone, so we're gonna customize ours by adding custom shapes to make it easier to identify what we're looking at. These bones are here because I can switch from a simple circle hand to a more complex one, as well as having actual bones that control the face and the leaf. One of the things that I've been trying to push from the start was having a character that looked like they had drawn on facial expressions, and at the time that meant using an image to paste onto the face. Now that we're completely moving over into frame by frame animation and we're working entirely inside of Blender, I thought I might try something new. I've been experimenting with a grease pencil tool which allows me to draw within the program itself. All of the drawings with a grease pencil tool are also vector based, meaning that if we need to, we can manipulate or create new ones without having to exit the program. But instead of just ending it there, I feel like I should do something with this character, so I decided to make a new banner. So I think at the moment I want to incorporate an explosion and the character as well as having this world which we're continuously splitting off into different chunks in. After further experimenting I eventually stumbled upon this design where we would start off on one side of the screen with uh, the computer here just exploding launching our character to the other side and while the character was flying we would kind of transition through different uh, aesthetics. So for this scene I just used two planes one for the wall and one for the floor. I already had this computer from a previous project, so I just threw that in there, as well as this fully customizable table, which we're gonna go ahead and use. Next up, I had to create some kind of explosion. I haven't done this in a long time, so I don't really know what I'm doing. But after a few tutorials and just messing around with it, I got towards like the general aesthetic that we're going for. From there, I just duplicated the scene and made another simple plane for the green screen. And then we used some curves and turned them into weird looking cables. The hardest part was trying to go for this claymation look, which I had never done before. But I found this image of fingerprints and I overlaid it on my image to get a kind of realistic clay look to it. And once I placed it into the banner and tried to like fully customize it a little bit more, we ended up with uh, this look right here, which I think looks a lot better. I also wanted to try this for the other channel, so again, I had a rough idea of what I wanted to uh, have. Here's kind of the block out of what I thought it would look like. I had to design this boat, which to be fair was already kind of in my mind for a while now. It's a little bee boat. All of the textures are done inside of Blender and we're just messing around with the different noise values. The island itself is uh, more generic. It's just a bunch of blobs that I thought would kind of look okay in the distance. I kind of threw together a few rocks everywhere and tried to move them around just to give the uh, visual appearance that there's more going on than there actually is. Recently I've been messing around with trying to make clouds and this is how the clouds ended up looking. You can use noise to make the clouds look more random which is the exact same thing I did to all these bushes. They're just uh, a regular circle that has noise on it to make it look like an actual bush. If we move the camera around, we can see that uh, we are not meant to look at this from any other angle. So we're really playing to the strength of the camera here. After messing around with the size and a bit of the posing, here's how the other channel looks. It makes me sad that we had to cut off the bee boat so you can't really see what's happening up here. And when we go to this one here, we get a nice focus on the character specifically while the rest is kind of uh, blurred out, even if the blur is uh, a little bit weird at times. And that's what I've been working on. With all of this experience built up, I'm hoping to actually dive into 3D animation projects at some point. But for now, this is all we have. 